Hello and welcome to Case of the Day. I'm Dr. Crowley and today we're going to discuss a patient who came in today with a sudden loss of vision in one eye. And so after doing the examination, dilating their eye and checking everything over, what I found was that he had an emboli or plaque, or what we call a Holland horse plaque, in the blood artery inside of his eye. So the artery uh, that comes out through the nerve spreads out across your retina, supplying the blood to your retina, and then the veins drain back, the blood back out of the eye, and right off where the optic nerve uh, enters the eye, there was a plaque uh, in the artery, right where the artery divides into a to two. And so as the artery is bigger and then it divides into its two smaller ones, the plaque could not fit into the next smaller artery and when it was blocking the blood flow. And so it was blocking blood flow to a portion of the retina, unfortunately involving the central portion of his vision. And so therefore he had like hand motion vision at, at, of two feet. So he lost completely almost all of his vision in one eye. So what, how does, what's, where's the circulation and how does this happen? So the in, carotid artery goes up and into inside your brain and supplies the blood to your brain and also a branch then goes off that that then eventually supplies the central retinal artery that supplies the blood to your eye. And so people who get emboli or plaques then we need to find out where did that plaque come from and so very commonly it comes from a plaque in the artery in your neck. So as the plaques develop in your arteries just like they get plaques in your heart and you end up having a heart attack, the plaques in your artery in your neck can break off and then go into your brain and cause a stroke or in this case basically a stroke to the retina as the plaque entered the central retinal artery and got inside the eye. And so another term for this is called amaurosis fugax which is a sudden loss of vision. And so um, we're sending this gentleman uh, to his doctor and we'll have uh, testing. So they'll do testing of the ultrasounds of the carotid arteries. They'll do an echo of the heart because if there's any plaques on the valves of the heart that could flip off and, and cause this, we want to know where this came from. Sometimes you never know. So temporarily you're put on uh, blood thinners, aspirin, and different variety of things until it's determined where did this come from, if that can be f source can be found, and if the source can be found, then of course then that would be treated as, as appropriate. Uh, so um, this is no different than having a stroke where your brain, where you have paralysis, this is a stroke to the eye, and the plaque is called a Hollenhorst plaque. So unfortunately, when this occurs, very little really can be done to change that. There are some studies that have been done and uh, where if it happens suddenly that uh, you could try to um, breathe a, into a paper bag that CO2 buildup can maybe dilate the artery a little bit and the plaque could go further down and you would have less loss of vision. Uh, you can drain fluid out of the eye and maybe that would let the fluid to go through the blood go through easier. Uh, and um, um, massage in the eye has been tried, but this had already been present for a few days, and so what damage had been done had already been done. And they are doing now stroke therapy as far as having a stroke, where they're doing uh, a streptokinase, where they actually inject a um, chemical in the in your are in your blood to dissolve these clots but you have to be seen immediately into the emergency room uh, where they they can do this and this did diminishes the damage done as far as a stroke goes uh, but like in this case this gentleman had had this vision loss for a while so he's not a candidate for any of those kind of things so unfortunately as a permanent loss of his vision and uh, so it um, we just at this point need to find out where it came from and if there's something that's going to flip another plaque off and this time go to his brain or somewhere else and cause a stroke, then we, we want to try to prevent that. So if you have any questions about sudden loss of vision or any other questions, we'd be happy to answer those. You can contact us through the website. Uh, if not, may God grant you with healthy eyes and great vision.